Congratulations, guys. Great Thank film. You. Opening night at TIFF. That's a huge accomplishment. Um, but why make a Western now? We don't see too many of these these days. And why remake this particular film? Why do you feel that the themes in the original are still relevant now in 2016? Well, the original theme is uh, something Denzel talks about all the time, which comes from, of course, all his movies, to serve others, mm. really, which is what samurai means and what he talks about all the time. So that's still relevant today. That, that's never going to go away. If we're evolve human beings, you come to a place where that's what it's about, right? So I think that always resonates. Mm -hmm. And then also, why not? Why not make a Western, man? Fair enough. Right? We make everything else. We've got dinosaurs and yeah. going to the moon. <laughs> why not make a Western? Yeah, why not? You know? So get our feet back on the ground a little bit. Is there any genre that goes away, that's gone away and never came back? The musical is kind of... Yeah, down. but they yeah. said there's a good one coming this year or something. Well, La La Land. Right, right, Ryan right. Gosling so there you won, go. Right? Yeah. Right. And, you know, Antoine, Kurosawa is one of the reasons you got into filmmaking. Yeah. So remaking one of his films, did you feel any kind of pressure or responsibility to, you know, do well by him and honor the, his legacy and honor the Seven Samurai legacy? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> Kurosawa is the one for me that um, uh, set the bar. You know, and and and, and uh, he's the one that the DNA of this whole movie was was the foundation of it was was, was put in his hands. Of course, R was interesting because he was very well read. He read you know a lot of Russian literature, the Idiot, and, and everything else. And so he was always interested in human beings, the human study, you know, and behavior. You know, and, and they're very. Um, the emote, you know, the Japanese back then, and everything was over the top a little mm. bit, really. But everything, if you watch that movie, the body language of what he was saying about the people, you know, about the poor, right, about standing up for something. The women would cry and just drop down to their knees and just cry with their ass towards the camera. You know, the men were sometimes buffoons and cowards. But nobody in Cor Sorrow's film was good, mm. all good. But the other people were worse. <laughs> right? the, the townspeople remember that scene where uh, Mifuni comes back and he found samurai swords and stuff. He goes, "Where'd you get these from?" To to the farm people, and then he wanted to kill them because they realized that they were killing samurai. They would find samurai after battle, and they would go scavenger them and they would trap mm -hmm. them and kill samurai. So now the samurai realize the people they're saving were killing them. Mm -hmm. right. So with nobody, it's there's no black and white. Everybody's in the gray, mm -hmm. right? It's just how, you know, evil needs to be dealt with by men that are capable, even if those men have done some bad things in their life. So that's what this is all about for me, staying true to that. And I think that's what I, I was making with my team. Is that what you got out of it? Yeah, no, I totally. Because everyone, which was great, a lot of people came up to me and said it's closer to Core Sorrow than I mean, there's a bit of both in it, but yeah, you say it makes sense. Well, a little bit of both of it because they're in cowboy outfits. Right. But <laughs> if you put them in samurai suits, right, right, you know what Seven I mean? Seven samurai. Yeah. Seven samurai. Mm -hmm. And uh, Denzel usually don't work in ensemble films, so how is it doing one now? And talk about the group dynamic on set with the other guys. How you got? I, that you know, I never. Right I've heard that in the last two yeah. days, and I've never heard that really? before. People asking me that. I mean, it's usually just you leading the film, and that's not true. At least not an ensemble of this big. Yeah, but that didn't have anything to do with anything. Yeah. I mean, it was just a good story, and uh, I never, I never thought of that. I didn't. It was just a good. I mean, it, that's what the story is. You know, like you know, if it ain't on the page, ain't no it ain't on the stage. Yeah. You guys, you've done two films in two years now: Equalizer, Magnificent Seven. Now you have Equalizer Two in the works. Um, where are you with that film, and what can we expect from that? It's a. That's. Still too far off. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, 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 we still right here. Okay. Well, we, you know. Yeah. We get there. And just quickly before we wrap up, uh, why do you guys enjoy working together so much? You've done a few films now. You obviously have a great dynamic together. How do you complement each other on set? He gives me Oscars. <laughs> there you go. He gives me work. <laughs> you know, it is. We get along. We get along. You know, he knows what he's doing. I know what I'm doing. And, and you know, you find. I, I've been blessed. To, I mean, I think five pictures with Tony Scott. Four with with Spike, right. or is it five with Tony? Five, whatever it is. 
three, I think, with Ed's Wick, and now this is our third. So mm -hmm. you, you find, or I found directors that I'm comfortable with and they're comfortable with me, and they make good movies, and why not revisit? Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Well, thank you so, so much for your time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Quietly out front. <coughs> I'll be right back. Yeah. Let me go handle yeah. this. Go ahead. Y'all keep talking. Well, I mean, you know, these are these are things that lasted throughout time. I mean, Core Sorrow, you know, that, that's where it all comes from. We can hear everybody. Hey, shut up, Brad. But it, it really comes down to like. Uh, Are you here? Yeah. Let's, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, make sure we get clean. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. That was um, Chris. That's why nobody was telling. Oh, was that Chris? Quiet. Because <laughs> other party yeah, he out. Throw him down the hole. Germany, re ask the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you good. Don't worry. We'll give you your time. Man.